Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome again to my smarties and I. It is the presenter Jefferson, and today we shall be discussing the topic differential calculus. And in this topic, we shall be looking at how we can be, how we can find the derivation of some functions, and how we can apply some rules in solving differential calculus. Rules like chain rule, product rule, and quotient rule. And also, we shall be looking at how we can find the derivative of some trigonometry functions. But today we shall begin with how we can solve for derivating simple functions like this. Now the first thing you need to understand about differentiation is that there is actually a general formula um, which says um, if y equal to ax raised to the power of n. Now if you should say the, the, the if you should take the derivative of y with respect to x, which is the y over the x, you will get a n x raised to the power of n minus 1. Now, how did I do this? I used the power to multiply the coefficients. And n times a gives us a n. And then when you do this, you subtract 1 from the power. And this gives us n minus 1. Okay. Using your power to multiply the coefficients to give us a n. And then minus 1 from the power to give us n minus 1. So with this simple uh, formula, we shall be solving these three questions. And so without wasting time, let us begin the class. Um, question number one says, y equal to 6x raised to the power of 3 plus 2x raised to the power of 2 minus 9x plus 3. Now we are told to find dy over ds. Okay. Now, simply applying the formula to y over dx, we are going to be having 3 multiply 6 to give us 18 and then 3 minus 1 according to the formula. After you multiply, you subtract 1. Plus 2 times 2 gives us 4. Then we have 2 minus 1. Okay. Now, minus. Now, don't forget that there is 1 here. When there's no power with the x, it means x is carrying power 1. Now, if 1 should multiply 9, we will get 9. Okay? And then, we are going to subtract also 1 from the power. 1 minus 1. Now, if you differentiate 3, 3 is 0. Now, when you differentiate a number without x, it is 0. So, there's no information to include 0 here. So, now, if we continue with the math, we're going to have this. dy over dx becomes... Um, 3 minus 1 gives us 2, so we have 18x raised to the power of 2 plus 4x raised to the power of 1. Now, 2 minus 1 gives us 1, but there's no need for us to put 1 here because when there's ordinary x, it means the power is 1. Uh, minus 9x raised to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, so finally, we're going to have our answer like this um, dy over dx is equal to. 8c s raised to the power 2 plus 4x minus 9. Now, how did I get 9 here? Because x raised to the power 0 is 1. In laws of indices, it says that when a base is raised to the power 0, the answer is 1. So if x raised to the power 0 is 1, it means what do I have here? 9. So it means that 18x squared plus 4x minus 9 gives us the answer if we should find the derivation of y equals to 6x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x plus 3. Okay, that is question number one. Now let us attend question number two. <clears throat> now you will notice that question number two is a little different from question number one. Question two says y equals to 9x raised to the power of 2 plus 4 over x raised to the power of 4. Now, you will see that in this question, there is a fraction. In our first question, there was no fraction. Now, how do you find the derivation of functions that has fraction? Now, the first thing we are going to do is this. We can't just find the y over ds at once. No. The first thing we should do is that our x raised to the power of 4, we take it up. Now, if x raised to the power of 4 goes up, it becomes 4x raised to the power of minus 4. When a positive power goes up, it becomes a negative power. So it means we are going to be having this 
y is equal to 9x raised to the power 2 plus 4x raised to the power minus 4. Now, how did I get minus 4? It is our 4, our power 4 that goes up, that becomes a negative 4. Now, you will see that in this question, there's no more fractions. So now that there's no more fractions, we cannot find the derivation, which is what you have and yes. Now, same rule applies. 2 multiplies 9 to give us 18. They were going to be having 2 minus 1. Plus, now minus 4 we multiply 4. And if minus 4 multiply 4, we are going to get minus 16. Now, x. Now, don't also forget, we are going to minus 1 from minus 4. Now, without wasting time, we are going to be having this. dy over dx is equal to 2 minus 1 gives us 1. So I have 18 x raised to the power 1. Now, you will notice that I have two signs here, plus and minus. Now, plus times minus will give us minus. So I'm going to have a minus here. Now, I have 16x. Now, minus 4 minus 1 will give us minus 5. Okay, without well, wasting time, we're going to be having this. dy over dx becomes 18x raised to the power 1 is the same thing as 18x. Now, minus. Now, don't forget that in the original question, in the question given, our x was at the denominator. Now, we were the one that took it up in order for us to differentiate. Now, now that we have differentiated, the x that we took up will also bring it back. Now, if x raised to the power minus 5 comes down to the denominator, we shall be having 16 left on, on, on the numerator. And then, what are we going to be having now? x raised to the power of positive 5 because why when a negative power goes down to the denominator it becomes a positive power and so this becomes the answer to our question so it means if we should find the derivation of 9x squared plus 4 over x raised to the power 4 the result we shall get is 18x minus 16 over x raised to the power 5 now this is question number two, and the last question we have is question number three. Let us see how we can solve this. Um, question number three says um, y equal to x raised to the power four plus six x raised to the power three minus one over x raised to the power two. Okay, now if you check question number three, you will also notice that one of the functions is a fraction. So what do I do again? x raised to the power two, I take it up. Now if I take x raised to the power two up, I will get one x raised to the power minus two. But there is no need for us including one because one x raised to the power minus two is the same thing as x raised to the power minus two. So if we should do this, we are going to be having this. Um, y is equal to x raised to the power 4 plus 6x raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power minus 2. Now, there is no more fraction. So at this point, we can now differentiate because there is no more fraction. Now, dy over dx becomes, don't forget, 4 multiplied was the coefficient. Now, what number is x carrying here? 1. So, 4 times 1 gives us 4. Then you now minus 1 from the power, 4 minus 1. Plus, 3 times 6 gives us 18. You also minus 1, 3 minus 1. Minus, now, minus 2, don't forget there is an invisible 1 now. Minus 2 times this 1 will also give us minus 2. Okay, now what do I have here now? x raised to the power minus 2 minus 1. Don't always forget that. After you multiply with your power, you must minus 1. Now let us proceed. Um, dy over dx becomes 4x raised to the power 4 minus 1 gives us 3 plus 18x raised to the power 3 minus 1 gives us 2. Now you will notice I have two negative signs here. Minus times minus gives us plus. So what do I have now? 2x raised to the power of minus 3 because minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Now, this I won't leave as my final answer because 
in our original question, the last function was in a fraction. Our x was at the denominator. So what do I have to do? I will bring this x back to the denominator. So finally, we're going to be having our answer as dy over dx is equal to 4x raised to the power 3 plus 18x raised to the power 2 plus. Now when x raised to the power minus 3 goes down, we have two left on the, what? On the numerator. Now, all over, negative power 3 becomes what? A positive power 3. And this becomes the answer to the question. So class, we have come to the end of today's class and how we can solve uh, uh, problems on differentiating some what basic what functions. In our next class, we shall see how we can solve problems on differential calculus using chain rules, quotient rule, and product rule. See, we'll meet again in our next class. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Mathematics Bolster. And then, don't forget to share our videos. Thank you for watching.